turn on our fireplace. I love doing this like every morning. It's like 7.45, so it's kind of early. And also woke up to 34 degree weather, you guys. Like literally. I need to put some hair oil in my hair. It's so staticky, I think from the cold. But yeah, we woke up to literally 34 degree weather out. So myself being myself, I just made an iced coffee. I need to like perfect an at-home hot coffee because I remember last year in Colorado, I really liked making a hot coffee with the espresso machine. So I need to figure out how I did that. But got up a little bit earlier. I just fed the dogs. I'm gonna have my coffee. Sit by this fire that just kicked in. And then, then we're gonna get ready. There's a fun little DSW event today that I'm gonna go to with Julia Havens and I'm sure there'll be some other girls there that we might know. So I'm excited about that. So I'm gonna get ready in a little bit. I'm going to pick up Julia at 9.45 and it's currently eight o'clock, I think. If I didn't have this fireplace, I would be so sad. I love sitting in front of the fire. I feel like I always fog this, but this is like literally where I sit half the time. I sit right on the floor and I can still see the TV, but I just love it. And I actually just ordered a like makeshift mantle situation off of Amazon actually. It should get here. I think maybe this vlog, I think it's coming tomorrow. And um, I ordered it because I wanted somewhere to be able to hang our stockings for Christmas. I feel like this area is so um, like spaced out because they stopped the marble and they had to hang the TV so high for like logical reasons. Um, so, it just kind of like has always looked funny in my opinion. Yeah, I just feel like it's always looked kind of funny with this big gap right here. So I'm excited. I ordered like a dark wooden mantle. And then I also finally ordered the frame to go around the frame TV because here's a so dumb. You buy a frame TV that's so expensive. Sorry, my camera's like not focusing, but you buy a frame TV that's literally so expensive. And then you have to buy another frame to go around it. I'm like, shouldn't that come with it? But whatever sorry i just turned the lights on i probably should have done that to begin with i feel like it was dark in here but um i finally got my hands back on the where's chewing the bone um i finally got my hands back on the stock pumpkin cold brew which i know is high in sugar but i'm just like whatever like it's so good and every time i go to starbucks now they're out of the white mocha and i honestly don't really like any other drinks there um until the christmas drinks come out so at home coffee it is but the stock pumpkin cold brew, it's so good, you guys. It just, I don't know how to explain it. You have to try it. I always find it at Target. I haven't seen it at any other grocery store besides Target, so check there. So, this is a new vlog, so welcome back to the channel. My name's Rachel, if you're new here. I just rolled out of bed. Like, I haven't even looked at myself in the mirror. I probably have stuff on my face, like, the whole nine yards. Um getting ready going to that little dsw event that will be fun and then i have to come home and edit a video do like some computer stuff i really want to go to f45 at the 415 class i think that's the one i think i should make it and then i have a sauna at seven o'clock today or tonight and that's really it i just want to have a fun little fall day maybe start doing some moving around in the guest rooms because both extra bedrooms we're turning into guest rooms and we're doing like a full redo situation on that. Um, I'm just waiting on one piece of furniture and then I need to hire like a task rabbit or some movers or something to move the couch, the Peloton and the desk and all that out of the second bedroom. I don't even think I've ever showed you guys that bedroom because it's such a mess. But Peloton we're going to put in the garage. I'm just going to do workouts in the garage, um, which is great because we don't pull our cars in the garage and we can get like a little space heater in there if I need to or a fan and then the desk and chairs I don't know what I'm gonna do about that because I want them because I love them but we don't really have a spot for them in the house and I don't ever sit at a desk so I'm trying to figure out what to do with that because I'm thinking that we might just sell it okay I'm just like rambling at this point because I just have fun talking to the camera <laughs> I'm just like sometimes I sit here and I really think like I am fully just having a full-blown conversation with this camera and both of my dogs are watching me like what the hell is she doing which I totally understand because like it's really strange but I think I've just been doing it so long like I've just been doing so many videos that it literally feels normal to me so I just talked to the camera like I'm literally talking to you guys and it's like the weirdest thing ever so anyway. 
this. Um, that's what's up. I'm gonna go get ready and I will check back in. I have a cute outfit that I'm excited to wear, so I'll show you guys. I just got ready. I just kind of re air wrapped my hair and did the most simple makeup literally ever. Um, okay, I need to put on perfume. I like always think I have all this time and then and then with a puppy it's like everything takes longer. <laughs> it's like having a baby, everything takes longer. All ready to go. I have a little little sweater dress on. I'm gonna put a trench coat over it. Like I said, it's freezing cold out. I'll show you guys my little outfit. All ready to go. I'm wearing this basically all cream outfit, which is my favorite. Um, this coat is from Zara. I just recently got it. This long dress, it's like a cashmere long dress, is from Helsa Studio off of Revolve. It's like long sleeve off the shoulder. Ignore my messy kitchen. I need to switch my bag over. Phone, car keys, lip gloss. Oh, same. I took I, I took my nails off. Yeah, I was but like, your nails look nice. How bad my hand touches are fading. Oh, so oh like, yeah, the really tiny yours ones. Yours are really still good on there. I know. Well, I want to go back to New York during Vlogmas and add some more on my. Yeah, thumb and, and then hit maybe, them again. Yeah. This the, the, a lot of tattoo artists told me that you just have for hand tattoos. They just fade every. Like you always have to get them touched up because they just fade faster on the hands. So. Oh my god, my hands are like I know. We're like, hurry, it's freezing. <laughs> Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Oh wait, she's gonna love it. It's so cute. It is cute. It Emily wears so these like every single day. Really? So okay, cute. Perfect. Yeah. I'm at the mall. I just dropped off Julia. Um, to Hunter, he met us at the mall. And I'm gonna run in and go to the container store and pick up a order I have from Crate and Barrel. My lampshade <laughs> finally came in from that one lamp that I ended up keeping. So I'm gonna go run and pick that up and then get some more um, containers for my shoes for the closet. And then we're gonna head home, get some work done and do a workout class. But cute little event, I got this hat for Emily because I don't really wear hats like this a ton and they were doing embroider. So I thought this would be cute. Emily loves stuff like that. So I'm gonna run in there. I don't think I'm gonna bring my camera because I have this tiny little purse, but I could vlog on my phone if anything exciting happens. I'm sure nothing will be too crazy. It's 11, 20 and I haven't had anything to eat yet. So I'm gonna get home quick and make something to eat at home because I have a ton of groceries and stuff. So we're gonna make this a quick little mall trip. Just made some breakfast. I'm back at the house and I got some stuff from Amazon. Oh, I ordered these buttons that you stick through your jeans. Um, if your like waist of your jean is too big but you want like oversized, um, apparently these buttons, I saw this on TikTok. <laughs> These buttons will cinch in the waist without having to get them altered because sometimes I like to wear the jeans like low-waisted, sometimes I like to do high-waisted. So they just look like this. I'll link them below for you. This sweater stone and basically it depills your like sweaters or I got it for the couch because it looks like this. Um, I just have like a bone to pick with Restoration Hardware. I feel like, first off, if you're ever thinking about buying the cloud couch, don't. It's a huge waste of money. Like I'm so mad at myself for spending that amount of money on a piece of furniture. One, the fabric that they sold me on, they said it was like gonna be really, really good for um, a lot of like high volume. So like dogs, kids, like the fabric was super um, heavy friendly, I guess. And 
it is nice because all the cushions come off and you can wash them but the fabric itself is like literally peeling off and i have only had that couch for like maybe six seven months and i spent like a whopping amount of money on it which is insane to me so i'm just like what are you eating so yeah i'm kind of mad about the whole couch situation i tried to reach out to them and the customer service was like very poor and they basically just told me that i need to de-pill the couch myself so i'm like okay great so i don't know what i'm gonna do i think i might get rid of the couch before it's too late and no one wants to like actually buy it and get a couch that can actually live up to like two crazy dogs on it and I know people are probably like gonna be like, oh my God, you just got that couch, whatever. But you live and you learn and that is not a good couch to buy. So never buy the Restoration Cloud Couch. I think it is a total ripoff, a total scam. And there's so many like duplicate couches out there now on other furniture brands and websites that are literally one fourth the price. Like I found couches that look just like mine and the price of just the Restoration Ottoman is the price of the total couch. I'm like, that's just insane to me, so. Anyways, my rant about that is over. I'm not a huge frustration fan anymore. But anyways, ordered some more glass straws. These are the straws I always use for my coffee. They are so much better, you guys, than like literally any other straw. They're glass, which I love because they look like this. Some of them are all the way straight and some of them like bend. And um, I love that they're glass because I feel like it's easy to see and clean them out. I feel like if you have a colored one, sometimes like your smoothie or something can get stuck in them, which is gross. Put these all in the dishwasher. I have these gold ones and these like silicone ones and stuff, but honestly, not my favorite. That's a little Amazon haul. I'm gonna change into some workout clothes and I have a workout at 4.15 and it's currently one o'clock. And then I'm gonna go to the sauna after that. So that is what's up. Just got all ready for the gym, but I'm a little early. So I'm just gonna unbox this lampshade. Um, I got three more of these shoe containers because I needed three more for the closet. So I got those. I'm gonna mess in this hallway. I need to put these in here. Like my full on wear coat on already, but. Alright. This was the lamp and lampshade that was originally gonna be our bedside tables. I had originally ordered two from Crate and Barrel, but they ended up being a little bit too big, so I got different ones from Arhas. Arhas. And I'm gonna put this one just like on our. Oh my god, this is so big. I mean. Guys, look at this compared to my body. Like truly huge. Oh my god. It's really cute though. Oh my god, I'm gonna like literally have a heart attack. Okay, either the part that connects these two is already on the lamp or I'm being an idiot, so. I guess we'll go upstairs and see. The behind the scenes of my life. <laughs> this is this is called football season because the gallery wall that I wanted to hang above here is still not hung. These two pictures that I want above the bed is still not hung. And obviously Dylan is super busy right now and I am not gonna add more stress onto him. So I think I might just hire a task rabbit to hang this gallery wall in these or I'm gonna figure it out on my own. I feel like I could do it. I don't think it's that hard. I just haven't like took the time to do it. And then these are just clothes right here that need to move. I just got this little leather set in from Ogoldi. These jeans are so cool. And then the matching jacket. And then this is the dress that I had on earlier. And then this bench is out here because my mom's actually taking it to the Florida house. And then I just don't even have any explanation for the rest of that. <laughs> this needs to go into my nightstand. This is like random stuff I got at Target last night. I think I'm going to actually go insane because first off, this whole lamp situation has been a huge thing, especially ordering through Crate and Barrel. I feel like I never have issues with them, but so I waited 
like three months for this and this I've had just sitting here because it's so big and so heavy and I had decided just to keep one because I was like, you know, the hassle of returning it. So I kept it and now in the box downstairs with this, there wasn't even, oh shit, maybe it came with the lamp and I threw it away. Oh my God, wait. Okay, well um, now I have a lamp and a lampshade that one is way too big, like no, <laughs> and I don't have a little thing to attach it. So, um, I'm not really sure what to do about this. So we're just going to leave this, but this lamp is from Crate and Barrel. I thought it was cute and I wanted to put on this console, but now I'm like, it's not even going to fit right here because it's just so dang big. Like this is a huge, this is a 60 inch console table and look at how big this lamp is. It's taking up almost the whole thing so we're gonna have to figure that out but i have to go to the gym so we're gonna do that post workout i just got to the sauna i'm about to go in and do a 45 minute in front sauna workout was really good it was cardio day yeah, I'm going to go home and cook dinner, but I'm going to go relax and do a little sauna session. I've been finding that this helps a lot with my skin and my like muscle recovery after a workout. Sometimes if I go to, oh, why did I just pick my skin? If I go to the sauna the next morning, I'm never really as sore. And oh, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to go ahead and book a workout for tomorrow morning before it fills up. Just got into the sauna room. I love this place. Seriously, you guys, they have like lavender towels when you get out that are like nice and cold. A towel for like sweat during. There's also like workout stuff if you want to like work out while you're in there. It's like a pretty decent size. And then um, there's also like a Netflix, um, like a screen right here. I can try to show you guys. Yeah, like right there you can watch Netflix. But I normally just like lay down and literally either take a nap or just relax. And I brought a little change of clothes at my Birkenstocks and then a sweat set because I'm normally like dripping sweat by the time I get out. But I'm going to relax for 45 minutes and then we're going to go home and make dinner. Dinner tonight was HelloFresh. I want to thank HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. You guys know the drill by now. Dylan and I are obsessed with HelloFresh meals, I was really excited for this meal in particular. We have never tried it before. Um, and what I love is HelloFresh has meals covered with a weekly selection of 30 plus recipes and 70 plus convenience items all delivered to the door, which is super convenient. Such good recipes too, you guys. We have tried so many and have never been disappointed. Also, I love how they work with your schedule. I travel a lot and sometimes I'm in and out and so the plans are really flexible. You can change your meal preferences, update your delivery day, and even change your address with just a few taps on the HelloFresh app. Also, they offer veggie, pescatarian, fit and wholesome meals to make it easy to stick to your goals. So no matter what type of meal plan or dieting you follow, HelloFresh has something for everybody. Lastly, I love the pre-portioned ingredients. There's less prep and less wasted food and it's just super easy and convenient to cook an at-home good yummy meal in just about 20 to 30 minutes so if you guys have not tried out hellofresh by now you need to check them out you guys can go to hellofresh.com and use code ratkey 65 for 65 percent off plus free shipping which is a incredible deal so again you guys can go to hellofresh.com and use code ratkey 65 for 65 percent off plus free shipping so check them out thank you hellofresh for sponsoring today's video Guys, it's so funny in the morning <laughs> before I feed Rue. <clears throat> First off, she's like obsessed with food. I think it's because she grows so quick, but she sits so like polite. Sit down. Look, she like doesn't even know what to do with herself. She's like, please. <laughs> it's so cute. Sit, that's really good. Sit. No. <laughs> sit, stay. No, you sit, stay, stay. This is Winnie's food. Good morning, you guys. I just woke up, fed the dogs. I always feed the dogs right away because Rue clearly doesn't know how to wait to be fed. Um, I have the door open because they're outside and I'm just sitting by the fire for a sec. I'm gonna start editing another video. 
I feel like all I do is edit videos <laughs> because all I do is film, which is fun, but sometimes I'm like, I wish I had a video editor, but I just, I just love being able to like do it myself, but it is so time consuming. And I feel like if I had a video editor, I could get out m even more videos for you guys because some days I spend the whole day editing instead of like actually shooting and doing content. I feel like my Instagram could be better if I had a video editor and things like that. But honestly, I just am not ready to give up control of my YouTube channel because I just love... One, I love the way that I edit and I just love being able to like choose like what goes in and what goes out of the vlogs. But... Um, yeah, anyways, 8.15 and we're going to get the day started. Tomorrow I leave, um, for home to Georgia for the weekend. I'm going to stay at Sarah and Ben's house and I'm going to be watching Carson all weekend, which will be fun. I'm going to vlog a little bit of that. And yeah, so today we are just catching up with work. I have a workout at noon. I'm going to a workout back to back, which is unlike me. I've been so unmotivated to get in the gym but I just need to like rip off the band-aid and keep going because I feel like once I get into the routine like for the wedding I was such in the routine like it was just habit like oh I find time during the day to go to the gym and now I'm like making excuses like oh I don't have time today but like I do have plenty of time so I need to just like stop making the excuses and go but sometimes it's just like really hard to get back into the workout routine um yeah, it's just been hard and I was like so in shape before the wedding and not that I'm not in shape now But I just feel a little more Less energy and I know that has to do with like not working out every day whenever I work out during the day I get so much energy like last night when I went to Work out and then I went straight to the sauna. I came home. I did dinner and then I stopped vlogging But I did so much laundry. I cleaned the house. I organized the guest room closet like I did so much it just gives me like that boost of energy whereas like if i would have laid around and not gone to the gym i probably would have just like laid on the couch so this is your sign slash motivation to try out the gym go to the gym go on a walk whatever that may be i want to go on a walk today with the dogs too so maybe i'll do the workout at noon and then come home and do a little walk with the dogs get them out of the house i'm sure they would like that so I'm going to make a coffee because I've been looking forward to my cold brew since I drank it yesterday. So we're going to go do that. I'm like obsessed with these sweatpants. I think they're by the brand Strut. Strut this or something. They're off of Revolve, but I've had them since the summer and they're just like the coziest. I love the material. They're like thin, but not too thin. They don't like stretch. And I love like the cross hem on the crotch and then the ankle has like a little splay ankle and they're just so comfy and so cute. We're gonna make a coffee and get the day going. Made a little pile right here on the table to bring home to my sisters. I need to go through a few more things. Good morning, Winnie. Good morning. I love you. I love you. You guys want a treat? You guys do? Okay. Hey guys, you go sit. Good girl. Sit, good girl. Can you shake? Can you shake? Good girl. Good girl, Rue. Do you not like peanut butter? You never eat these. There is this. Eat it. You don't like it? Do you want something else? I don't know why. Winnie is not a picky dog, but Rue, like what dog does not like peanut butter? That's so weird. These are buck bones. You love buck bone. You love buck bone. Here, here, you want this one? You like this one better? Oh. Do you just like not like treats? What's wrong with you? Winnie's like, I'll take them all. I think Rue is just so obsessed with food, she doesn't care about anything else. Okay, coffee. This cold brew, you guys, is so good. I'm obsessed with it. I really want to go to Barista Parlor and get their fall drink. I don't know how long it's going to be there, and I don't want it to be gone before I can get it again because it was so good. So if you guys live in Nashville, go to Barista Parlor and get their fall drinks. They're so yummy. 
had this coffee yesterday, but I would always do a little splash of this and it makes it so creamy. But this stuff, you guys, it's so good. I'm obsessed with the stock cold brew. I feel like I've tried so many brands and this one is always my favorite. When the pumpkin obviously isn't in season, I always get the, um, just the stock unsweetened and it's really yummy. I'm gonna sit at the computer. Lately on YouTube, I've been putting on like autumn jazz coffee shop and it just like plays for hours because when I'm editing, I like to have some type of noise, but not like a show because I can't obviously pay attention to the show. So this feels like there's like music in the back, but it's not distracting. So I just go on YouTube. It's kind of a vibe with the fireplace and stuff. I love. Heading to a workout. I wanted to show you guys. I showed this top in my is this lighting. What is this lighting? Showed this, this Lululemon top in my Laguna vlog at the end, but I didn't try it on. So I wanted to show you guys how it fits. I'm wearing a size six. It's a little loose, so I probably could have done a four, but I have no sports bra on which is kind of nice because it literally just has one built in it has pads too but i took the pads out in today's strength day so i feel like i'll be fine in a long sleeve and then i'm just wearing the wonder train leggings these are my favorite leggings literally ever and then my my sneakers are adidas by i think they're adidas by stella mccarthy i think that's how you say it um Whenever I sit down on one of those jute rugs, I get stuff all over my clothes. And I'm like, I am not really, I'm like lint rolling my butt. I'm not really into that. So I'm on the hunt for a new rug right now. Like an affordable one, I think I was telling you guys. I also think all my vlogs are out of order. So like, I'm really sorry about that because some of the brands take longer to approve than other brands. So. I apologize about that if you guys are confused. I need to start putting the dates on my vlogs. I used to do that, but I've gotten bad at it. Yeah, the jute rug always like comes off on my clothes and I'm not a fan of that. And it's not dog hair, like Rue sheds. Like I find hairballs in the corner, but I don't ever find it on me because I wear black all the time. But anyways, I need to find a new rug and I don't know where to look, so. That's that. I also am wearing this like little Lululemon bomber jacket. I swear Lululemon can just take my whole bank account. Hi, I'm good. How are you? Good. Could I get the Headless Horseman iced um, with just 2% milk? Thank you. Uh, could I get a little extra ice in the coffee? Thank you. Post-workout, the workout was so good today. It was legs, which I actually have been wanting to focus on, like building my legs back up. I feel like I used to have really strong legs when I was a dancer and not that I don't like my legs, I just have really long legs and I like when they're super toned. So I was excited when they said it was leg day, but I just ran to a barista parlor after. I got a coffee as my little treat. I'm gonna head home and do a bunch of editing. So I figured I would have my afternoon coffee. It is 1.30 and get some work done. So I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. But if you guys come to barista parlor, get the headless horseman if you guys live in nashville or i don't know if this is a chain or if it, this is local i've never heard of it before so i'm thinking it's local but it's so good it's like their fall spices with like pumpkin and all that fun stuff i text dylan because i was going through my camera when i was in the coffee shop waiting on my coffee and deleting some like clips and you guys look at this look at how small rue was it makes me so sad that she's growing so fast. She's literally huge right now. She is 35, almost probably 40 pounds at this point. And Winnie is only 47. So she is growing quick, you guys. Rue is something else. Sweetest dog. Funny personality, but she's crazy, you guys. Like, truly crazy. So I'm going to end the vlog here. I will see you guys in the next vlog, which will be a little weekend vlog. Probably not the whole vlog will be because I don't know how much content I can vlog with the baby just sitting at the house and babysitting Carson. 
all weekend and I'm so excited. I'm like spending the night with him and everything by myself for the first time. So I'm a little anxious and excited at the same time. I haven't seen Carson in forever and I feel like he's gotten so big and I'm so excited to go just like spend some time with him. So that'll be this weekend. So I'm gonna go home, get everything together and get work wrapped up and head on the road tomorrow. So I love you guys. Thank you for watching if you made it this far and I will see you guys in the next vlog. Bye y'all.